Hi everybody, um, it's been a while since my last tutorial and the funny thing is is that I was sick the last one and I'm losing my voice in this one so uh, hopefully you can understand what I'm saying. Uh, so this tutorial is about what I did to my hair which is this. I uh, made my hair lavender and uh, I was just going to show you how I did it in case you wanted to um, do it at some point in time. I'm actually extremely loving it so I'm going to try to keep it for as long as possible. So um, what happened was is I was normally a platinum blonde um, and I went back to blonde gradually which I have a video about going back to blonde from red. And I got to a point where I was pretty, um, it's kind of, it wasn't like bleach blonde. What I did is I bleached my hair and then I would tone it with the Wella Color Charm Toner in White Lady. So that made it a really pale, uh, it was a pretty pale uh, ash blonde. And then um, I ended up going to Comic Con this year, which was my 12th year going to Comic-Con. I've been going for a really long time and uh, I was uh, re-bleaching my roots and they just, they came, my roots always come out really like yellow, like baby chick yellow, like um, the first time I bleach it. And I'm a natural blonde, but I do have red, uh, gold, I shouldn't say red, I have gold tones in my hair. My dad is a natural penny redhead. And um, I ended up getting blonde, being blonde from my grandmother, but it still looked very gold blonde. Uh, so when I need to go ash, I have to tone it instantly. And so I bleached my roots, and I had been uh, juggling with the idea of going lavender. Um, and so I purchased uh, Max Panic Ultraviolet. And I did a test strip on some old extensions that I had that weren't quite as blonde, but they had really, really bleach, like white blonde highlights. And they picked up really blue. Um, so I kept going back and what I did is I basically bought uh, this conditioner. It was, I don't know, like two bucks at CVS. It was just a basic white conditioner. And I mixed the ultraviolet a couple times. It just turned out a little too blue. For my taste, and I hope you guys can tell that it's 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 blueish, but it's more. I guess it, it was not as purple. Um, it was more like a indigo blue. So what I did is I ended up buying, and I'm almost I I used up the whole jug on my head almost, but I got electric amethyst, which you can probably. Well, Here's what this looks like, and I hope you guys can tell the difference of the color because I think as soon as I put it up there, it, it gets, it looks the same, but it is darker. It's a darker bluish purple, and this is more of a pinkish purple. Um, so I did a color swatch with this, and I liked it a whole lot, so I just decided to, instead of toning my hair, that I would just do purple. So I pretty much got a big bowl. It's my mixing bowl. I have two mixing bowls from Ikea for baking and it's the smaller one that I never use. And I kept putting in small amounts because what I saw on YouTube is that everyone kind of did all conditioner and like a tablespoon of it. But I, I should have my hair down, but it's not down. I have um, hair about to here. So I'll blow my waist and uh, I I have thin hair, but I have a heck of a lot of it. Like, I have a lot of hair. So I kept going, and I just kind of started from, I parted it like I normally do when I bleach my hair. And I just started lathering it in the stuff. And it just didn't seem like, it in the beginning, it just didn't seem like a lot of color. Like, I wanted it to be more colored. So I eventually, if you can see... Ooh, I almost poured it out. I eventually used the whole freaking bottle, pretty much. And it came out um, basically kind of streaky. My highlights picked up more of the color, but quite honestly, I like it like that. It looks like a net, like I have natural 
purple hair, if that makes any sense, because there's low lights of it, and there's highlights, and there's some really, really, really pale silver streaks in it, and I kind of concentrated more of the... I literally dipped my ends in the jar at the very end to kind of like dip dye it, and um, I... I love it a lot, and uh, this is about a week old hair, so it's kind of gross, but um, let me see if I can like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's a lovely color, and um, I also uh, draw color in my eyebrows purple, and I had a blast. Uh, as with purple hair at Comic-Con and I'm going to keep going so there's like the first part of my tutorial uh, again I use just a basic uh, cheap white conditioner and I use Manic Panic's Electric Amethyst and I actually met uh, the people from Manic Panic they had a booth at Comic-Con and they suggested to me that um, as much as everyone uses conditioner to dilute it, they said that to make it more consistent uh, to use their toner to mix it. And I'm actually going to try that next time and I'll let you guys see what it looks like. I think I'm going to do like the toner and conditioner and the product and see how it goes. Um, but so far, again, I am loving it. Now I was, again, a really pale blonde. And I bleached my roots, but I didn't tone my roots. I left my roots kind of like that, really, really, like uh, the inside of a banana peel, yellow. Um, if you have to bleach your roots twice, I would recommend waiting a day or two to do it. And uh, hopefully, if you decide to do this, um, it'll come out similar. I hope you guys like it, because when I do my tutorials, I'm probably going to have this color hair. Uh, again, for as long as I can. So uh, I wanted to show you guys a couple of things I got at Comic Con. Um, I got these. It's so cute. It's literally it's a it's a cape or a cloak. So it's it can go over dresses. Woo. And uh, so you pin it and uh, it's like a little cape with the bear and I can't remember his name don't hate me for not remembering his name I I can't remember his name and I should have looked it up before I did this video but um I got this one and then I know this guy's name because I love him to death I got a Totoro one and it has whiskers like real whiskers sticking out and the Toto one is so cute. There's this little front. And I wore this the whole day on Saturday. And it actually came with, um, the Toto one came with a free cell phone charm. And it came with cat bus. And I am in love with these. I can't wait till it's cooler out in LA. And I can wear them with my dresses because I am, I'm totally am. And I also, my boyfriend actually got me this as a surprise. He got me the Neko Mimi ears, which are basically brainwave controlled cat ears. And this is what they look like. And I'm going to do a, a video on these separately because the, I wore the batteries out because I wore them constantly. But basically, you put them on your head and they respond to your brain waves. So, as you can see in the back. So when you're tired, they droop, and they perk up, and they wiggle, and they really work, and I had a blast wearing them, and I kept freaking my friends out because uh, they, they really work. So, thank you. My boyfriend is awesome. And to go along with it, I just bought a little cat bell that matched my hair. To wear with it so yeah um, this was kind of a weird random tutorial and I hope you don't hate it too much but this is what I did for my hair for Comic-Con and I am super super loving it and Comic-Con was super fun um, I dressed up only one day and I dressed up as Catwoman on Saturday and my boyfriend was 
Batman from The Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises, the Nolan Batman. I happen to be the Catwoman from the new 52 comic book series slash Gotham City Sirens. And uh, it, it went over pretty well. Um, there's a video up on of me, I guess, somewhere on YouTube where uh, I have like 700 comments of how much, how ugly I am. So I've now joined the world of internet hating, which sucks, but uh, I know better than that. So uh, yeah, anyway, that was a terrible thing to talk about. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, I hope this worked for you guys. I hope you guys like my new hair. Um, again, I'm, I'm loving it. And uh, if you have any questions again about it, or if you guys want me to do like a hardcore long tutorial, let me know. And uh, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful evening. Bye.